All right, so we have the two lost Primarchs fully explained in Warhammer 40K. I believe that's what, uh, is that like 2 and 11, I think? Uh, Primarch 2 and 11, I think. Grand to it, man. Never need a love, this is all I need. Two of the first founding Space Marine Legions, the 2nd and the 11th Legions, along with their Primarchs, were deliberately removed from all Imperial records and archives before the Horus Heresy in the early 31st millennium. Dang! This process known as the Edict of Obliteration, or Damnatio Memoria, erased all information about them from official records. Their names, homeworlds, and ultimate fate remain unknown, and conflicting reports exist about whether they met their demise before or during the Horus Heresy. Bro, they got wiped from the history books, bro. Like, imagine, like, imagine, like, you read up on something, and I just mean just, and I, like, I'm, bro, I'm, like, I'm entering into, like, a, just a field of, like, whatever, whether you're in school, video games, whatever. Imagine, like, you hear about, like, like, like you know, 20 teams or whatever, or 20 NFL teams. Yeah, 20 sports teams. I say 20 basketball teams. And you hear that, too, it's just, like, you know that there's 20. Like, it says that there's 20, but two was just wiped from existence. Like, that would, like, that would, like, spark, like, some type of question. I can't, like, I would be, like, so, like, what happened? Like, bro, did it, like, like what? Like, what, what do you mean there was 20, but two just wiped from existence? So, you're acknowledging that there's 20 of them. But two's just gone? Like, what happened? This act of erasure is considered the most successful in Imperial history, leaving them known only as That's the crazy. Garden and the Purge. But there are clues here and there about their existence, and here in this video, we will analyze it all and come to a timeline on when oh, they snap. were erased. Look, look, look. Two in 11. That's crazy. And why? Furthermore, we will also look deeper into who might have had a hand in wiping them out, as well as whether there are survivors of their legions. So, let's get into it. So, what do we actually know about the Lost Primarchs and their legions? Information that is out there. So, we know that the Emperor created 20 or 21 Primarchs who were scattered across the galaxy by a Chaos Vortex, and later these Primarchs were rediscovered and were found to have been raised by different cultures in different planets leading to their different personalities and abilities. During the Great Crusade, 20 legions, each led by a Primarch, took part in it. However, the records of legions too and 11 were deliberately expunged, leaving their fates unknown. By the time of the Horus Heresy, 20 statues of the Primarch stood in the Imperial Palace, with two plinths, number 2 and 11, being vacant. Oh, snap. In the heresy, Horus convinced okay, so, all right. So, did, so like, he, like this guy said, he said that there was actually 20 statues just, like, stood up, right, like, for display or whatever. And actually, you can see, like, their faces or whatever. Here, here's their faces. My bad, I didn't mean to go back too far. But here's their faces right here, so... You got the second uh, legion right here, and you got the eleven legion right here. Wow! So I and like, my thing is right. I mean, I, I'm listen. And again, I'm a Warhammer new booty, okay? But like, you got this guy. His eyes li is lighting up like Luke Kang from Mortal Kombat. You got this guy right here. He kind of like a combination of like Tom Bra uh, Tom Brady and like Captain Price a little bit. But like, I don't know. It's just, bro. But why though? I don't understand. That. In the heresy, Horus convinced nine legions to join his rebellion. Okay. Half of the total number, suggesting that there were only 18 active legions at that time. Okay. Nine of them turned traitors and served the Chaos Forces, while nine others remained loyal and fought alongside the Emperor. So, where war. are the other two? This is why we are here to find out. What do we really know about their origins and discovery firstly? On the official Horus Heresy website, a timeline is provided detailing events from late M30 to early M31. Among other rediscovery dates of the Primarchs, Notably, there are two entries labeled as Discovery of Redacted, dated to the years 8 to 1 of M30, which is third in the Primarch Discovery sequence, and 9 to 7 of M30, the 19th in the sequence. Real quick, right? We're going to listen to this guy's explanation, whatever, but we all know, like, you know, listen, GW, Gameworks, we all know, like, it's their game, it's their franchise, it's their history. So at the end of the day, right, they could legit just, like, give, like, no one really knows. There isn't like there is a like a textbook reason of why those two are gone. So we're gonna listen to this like you know to this guy's like opinion or whatever um, of like you know what happened. Um, but I'm just filling you in that there is literally no official like you know word of why these two is gone. Um, a part of me thinks that game that uh, that G that GW just took him out just because obviously like you know Horus had his nine and the Emperor had his nine, so it was like a like a even like civil war type of thing going on i mean but if that was the case though i mean they could legit, just they could legit just do like a 10v10 and just keep like you know those two primarchs in or whatever but 
in all honesty, right? And I, I even like looked it up. There is no official like, bro. GW just took him out. There is legit no official like word and nothing that says why these two, why uh the second legion and the eleventh legion is out completely. So. Um, I just thought I had to say that, you know. These are likely the rediscovery dates of the Lost Two Primarch. Well, in the novel Fulgrim, the Palantine Phoenix, it was confirmed that the second was among the first eight to be rediscovered by the Emperor during the Great Crusade, okay. whom Fulgrim calls his quiet brother and a master of the second. So the Primarch of the Second Legion would no doubt be the one discovered in the year 821 of the 30th millennium. But there is also a debate that during the rediscovery of Corvus Corax, when the Emperor told the Raven Lord that he had 17 brothers, Korax was confused as he knew he was number 19. And hence, there should be more. Wait, okay, whoa, 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 hold up. So he said, okay, so he just said that the dude said, oh, bro, I got 17 brothers. If that was the case, then he doesn't know about the other two brothers then. Then he would be the 18th brother because... If it's me and and I was and I would say to you, let's say, I walk to you on the street, whatever we're talking, da da da. And you're like, oh, you have any siblings? And I would say, oh, well, you know, it's me. Uh, obviously, it's me, and I got like 17, you know, brothers or whatever. Then that's 18. I do know, right? And I read up on this a little bit. And I listen. I'm sorry if I'm fast forwarding lore, but I do know that some um, of the Primarchs knew that there was like 20 or whatever. But like they just didn't they, like you know they just didn't say nothing like there was like there was some primaries or whatever that didn't even mention that two of their brothers are just gone. So at the end of the day, like you know, I don't know if they had something to do with it. Like and they get, bro, it's this big mystery. Like bro, and as as a Warhammer new booty, bro, I legit want to know what happened. <laughs> like I could see if it was one Primark brother. It, there's two that's missing, and then everybody, all the brothers act like, oh no, bro, yeah, I got seventeen other brothers. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking. Two, I don't, I don't remember. Wait, bro, I got nineteen other. No, there's no shot. I only got seventeen other brothers. Like, bro, why are everybody pretending that they, that 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 these two is just just disappear like magic? There's no shot. To which the emperor replied by saying, "The other two? That is a conversation for another day." Oh no, they had to do some bad. Oh no, 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 no. I'm sorry that I'm pausing this a lot, bro, but I'm kind of invested in this. What, yo, emperor, what do you mean by that? What do you mean the other two? That's that's for another day. What did they do? So the emperor was like, yo, we can't even mention the other two. That's for, bro, that's for, bro, that's for Christmas, bro. You, you Listen, we all know, bro, those Christmas talks where it's like, it's a little like, it's a little awkward at first. And then, you know, everybody started talking over each other. And it's like, it's like five different conversations at the Christmas table. Bro, it's one of those. He's like, bro, I can't even talk about it right now. Listen, I'll see you at Christmas, bro. We'll talk about the, the other two brothers at Christmas. Wowzers, bro, first of all. Um, we got Christmas next month and stuff like that. I kind of want to do something for like the channel for Christmas. Uh, I have to think about it. But what the Emperor meant by this was that there were two more to be discovered, Alpharius and the 11th, thus marking the year 927 of M30 as the discovery date of the other lost Primarch, number 11. Now the question arises as to when was the Edict Obliteration, the Damnatio Memoria, was initiated and when was it declared a success? What we do know is that a rare record mistakenly inserted into the Astra Militarum's Imperial Infantryman's uplifting primer of the 41st millennium disclosed that the missing two and the 11th legions of the ancient space marines were involved in the Rangdon Xenocides during the Great Crusade that ended in 890 of M30. However, the extent and details of the participation of the two legions in the campaigns remain unknown and unrecorded. The presence of the title War Master suggests that this document was produced during the third Rangdon genocide. So nobody know nothing? Nah, somebody gotta know something, bro. Bro, hey, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. If I don't get an answer, bro, at least by the end of the video, bro, I want all the brothers to line up, bro. And I'm, uh, bro, bro, I, I gotta, I gotta interview one, one by one, bro. Bro, where's your brother at, bro? Where, where's your other two brothers at? Somebody better say something, bro, or I'll get the emperor to discipline. I can't lie to you, bro. Something gotta give. Because, bro, nobody's not, like, it, it like, do everybody got amnesia or something like that, bro? Like, what do you, t like, bro? What do you mean not recorded? Like, nobody didn't have the cameras on. Like, flight reacts. Like, bro, wait, what are we talking about? No, bro, no records, no nothing. Man, and Horace, bro, your hairline is crazy. In the 890s of M30, the term Warmaster was introduced with the involvement of the Dark Angels 
which points to the time frame of this record. So as of that year, they are still active and yes, Legion 11 might have operated without a Primark since their gene sire was rediscovered 37 years later. We oh, also wait know that during the meeting in Monarchia before the word bearers were rebuked by the Emperor, wait, it was stated wait, 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 that the wait, wait. Edict of Obliteration had been a success for the three years prior to- Okay, I'm sorry, last pause. I know I'm pausing. Like, I'm so sorry. I usually don't do this. But listen, so basically what he just, he just said that uh, since basically like the 11 Legion was technically like reborn or whatever, they basically didn't even have a, pr uh, a Primark. They were just doing stuff on their own. Mmm, okay. But like what happened to the guy though? Man, I think they're dead. I think they just got eviscerated. That time, marking the date of the damage no more pauses, Maria I promise you. I'm sorry. success in 963 of M30. But wait a heretic minute. Such a process that would involve thousands or even tens of thousands of worlds, countless ships, billions or trillions of citizenry, uncountable imperial records and logistics would have required quite a number of years to be a success. In a short story, The Chamber at the End of Memory, Rogaldon discovers doors Mark 2 and 11 assuming that they belong to the missing Primarchs. Malkador the Sigilite reveals that Dawn and Gilliman had him suppress their memories of the lost Primarchs to preserve the ideals of the Great Crusade. Dawn then accepts that their fate must remain a mystery but recalls briefly that he had known the missing Primarchs for quite a number of years when talking with Malkador. Thus it would have been a few years after the discovery of the 11th that the two lost Primarchs were killed and erased from the Empire's memory. Given that information, the tragic events of their deaths would have been anywhere between the years 930 to 940 and the year 950 to 960 of the 30th millennium, Wait. with the most probable time frame being the decade of the 940s of M30. But that's just detective work from my end. Since Dawn actually knew the Primarchs and number 11 was discovered on 927, therefore he would knew him for quite a while, and then he was killed and then the Edict Obliteration was initiated, then it will take a few years for it to be a success, therefore putting it in the time frame of the 940s of M30. Now why were they wiped out from existence and memory? How bad were they or was there a specific reason? Well let's start with looking at what are the sins or war crimes that the Emperor can overlook. Yeah. Well Angron massacring the populace at Gehenna was met with swift punishment but not to the point of being actually deleted, although that came close for other reasons. What else? Xenocytes were really a regular thing during the Great Crusades. Diving into sorcery and utilizing the powers of the warp wasn't strictly prohibited until the Edict of Nikea in the first year. Oh, I thought that was the most dangerous like sin you can do. Like, bro, like if you... I mean, here's the thing. The Emperor did like use some of the warp to like create some of his sons. So like if one of the sons was like, yo, dad, like, you know, can I have some of the warp? And the Emperor was like, nah, bro. Like, you don't need some of that. Even though I made you with some of the warp, you don't need it. Now nah, you're good. Don't, don't ask me again. And then the guy, and then, like, the kid was like, and then one of the Primarchs was like, mm, okay, all right, I'll listen to you. And then, you know, snuck into uh, snuck into daddy's uh, uh, a wine wine drink, uh, wine closet or whatever, or a little wine uh, cabinet, and got some of the little warp powers or whatever. I mean, it, listen, if the Emperor caught him, whatever, and, like, deleted him, I thought that was, like, the worst sin you can do. But, um, I'm going to be honest with you. Here's what I think, right? And I'm going I'm to play the video and not talk anymore. I think those two, bro, I think Legion 2 and Legion 11, I think they're out of there, bro. I think they got, I, bro, I think they got stoned, bro. I think, bro, I think they did something crazy because, bro, even if you look at, if you even look at the two, bro, they look like menaces, bro. Like, I mean... The Primarchs, they all look like, they all look like menaces. But, bro, the dude, bro, his eyes was lit up. Like, nah, bro, he had to be, like, some type of, like, like school threat or something, bro. He was definitely a menace. But I, I think they're dead. They have to be dead. Like, there, there's no shot. They're just, like, camping somewhere in Hawaii. Like, there's no way. Of the 31st millennium. So that was probably not a big deal either. Even Horus and the other traitor Primarchs weren't condemned to such a state. Facts. The still have information and knowledge about their deeds. Facts. That's what I'm saying, bro. Horus is a menace. Like, bro, bro, bro. He went toe to toe with his daddy. Like, bro, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you, like, they had to, there's, like, my thing is, right? How can you, like, bro, hearing about how much Horus did, bro, and how much of a menace, bro, he almost turned the sons against their dad, bro. Like, that's, like, that's terrible. So, what could have these Primarchs done? 
that was way worse than what Horace is currly doing. Like what like or so not currently doing. He got eviscerated. But like but like what did what did like I, I can't imagine anything like like that hard for them to do to make the uh Emperor be like, okay, you know what? Hey, what what bro said, what Zeno said, bye bye, bro. I, like there's no like what what can they do? I don't know. I, I don't understand the excommunicate tortoris, but not the damnation memoria. This seems to show that no matter the deeds, even rebellions and turning to chaos did not hold such a dark and grim punishment. So what the actual fuck? What are the actual <laughs> flaws that he will not accept? Well, it has been stated that twice before the emperor had purged his own progeny and every living soul within the legions that followed them, so he did kill them. And in the first heretic, Lorgar feared that what he had done, worshipping the emperor as a god, would have condemned him and his legion to follow the fates of the other two. But fortunately, that did not happen, although he received proper punishment and humiliation at the hands of the Ultramarines and Gilliman. One thing that really scared the other Primarchs was a flaw in their gene seed, their creation, their essence. So in the novel Fear to Tread by James Swallow, Horus witnesses the Blood Angel's Primarch, Sanguinius, murdering one of his own legionnaires who had been affected by his legion's burgeoning genetic curse, later known as the Red Thirst. When confronted, Sanguinius exclaimed that he will not be responsible for the erasure of the blood angels from imperial history, that he will not have a third empty plinth beneath the roof of the Hegemon as his legion's only memorial. This response implies that the legions were purged because of an inherent flaw in their gene seed and Sanguinius fears the same fate. So in the Dark Imperium, Belisarius called experiments with gene seeds from the 9 traitor legions as well as the 2nd and 11th legions to create the Primaris Space Marines. Gilliman initially refuses mass production but calls Proxy, the call inferior, implies that the Primarchs of the 11th and the 2nd, not the Space Marines, were at fault for the legions' disappearance, nor was it the science of their creation which was at fault. This aligns with Macador's account of the Space Marines being mind wiped and repurposed elsewhere, suggesting that Call might have some knowledge of their fate since he was alive at that point of time. He oh, also told Gilliman snap. that there were flaws in the Ultramarines' gene seeds as well, but then they were not censured from memory. This also denounces the theory that proposes the Lost Legions might have been created from a population that could have been tainted or compromised in some way, leading to their failure and the Emperor wiping them out before becoming a Legion. Which we do know that this isn't true as a leak confirmed that the 11th and the 2nd took part in some ways during the Rangdan genocide. Therefore, they were proper legions at that time in the Great Crusade. Therefore... Okay. okay. So, if they were proper legions and they were official, I'm guessing that most of the legions knew that Legion 2 and Legion 11, they were alive, whatever, da 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 Okay, I got a question. For any Warhammer 40k connoisseur, does anybody know if any of the other Primarchs said anything about two, uh, 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 Legion 2 and Legion 11? Because I think he said that one of the um, Primarchs before, and at the beginning of the video, uh, said that, oh, you know, uh, we shouldn't talk about... You know, uh, the, no, no, no. The emperor said that. I think he's. I think one of the primarchs said that the uh, that he asked the emperor about that, and the emperor was like, oh, "Okay, like you know, we'll talk about it, whatever." I think that's what he said before at the beginning of the video. But does anybody know if any other primarch, like you know, say anything about like Legion Two and Legion Eleven? Because at the end of the day, right? At the end, like you know, listen, it's fun to like deep dive and like you know, uh, and be like, oh, okay, like you know, like and, and become Sherlock Holmes and really like you know. Uh, and bring out your detective skills and really like see what happened or whatever. But at the end of the day, though, obviously, game works. They took them out for a reason. They took like, and I don't know if they, if they took them out for like a like mystery purpose. I don't know if they took them out. I don't know because they wanted to like you know, not even them out, but like I I, I bro I I legit don't know why game works took them out. I can't lie to you, bro. I'm so like bro, my brain is so wrapped up like around this. I can't lie to you, bro. I kind of want to do my own research. And I'm going to be real. And I don't know if that's going to, like, you know, tank or not. Like, I don't know if that's going to fail or not. But listen, bro, we, we got to get to the bottom of this. But as a matter of fact, I'm going to just keep it real, bro. I won't rest until I until I solve this mystery, bro. Call me Sherlock Holmes, bro. Um, bro, bro, listen. 
something got to give. I don't know if the, your emperor, if you want to step up and say something, uh, you can because I th this this is rebunculous. I I can't even understand like what ha like here and here's the thing again. I'm gonna say it again. If it was one Primarch, okay, cool. It's a mystery. Oh, you know he must have did whatever. The fact that there's two. And nobody wanted to be like, oh, well, yeah, they got wiped out completely. Yo, the emperor, they was doing too much. The emperor said, stop. I'm, I'm going to warn you again before I discipline you. And then skadoosh. He got him out of here. Kung Fu Panda style. But like, bro, like if, if the emperor's, like if the other, like, you know, Primarch would have said something, it would have made sense. But there's a reason uh, that GameWorks took him out. There has to be a reason. Why would they take out two of them? They could have took out one. But why those two specifically? Maybe they were meant to be taken out. I don't know, man. I'm going to wrap up this video, though. It's three more minutes left. I'm not going to pause for the next three minutes. I was, I, my bad. I've been yapping a lot. My the bad. only other conclusion is a flaw in not the Space Marine, but the genetic makeup of the Primarch themselves that condemned them to such a fate. Such a thing would have eroded the vision of the Great Crusade, as two of the finest creations of the Emperor were actually failures. This would have had dire consequences for the Crusade and the Emperor's ego. The Crusade, therefore, was a way of him to test his son's abilities. Omegon believes that this is why the lost Primarchs were discarded as flawed tools by the Emperor. Furthermore, in Chapter 6 of the novel Angron, the Red Angel, the Grey Knight's epistolary, Telomane, suggests that the Emperor orchestrated the removal of both of the lost Primarchs. And he also expressed a wish that the Emperor had taken similar steps or actions with Angron during the Great Crusade upon realizing the extent of the Primarchs' damage due to the Butcher's nails him appearing as a walking embarrassment to the ultimate work of the Master of Mankind. And in Wolf's Bane, Malkador the Sigilite briefly mentions the lost Primarchs during a discussion with Lehman Russ, stating that unlike Russ, they were disappointments, meaning that they were the failures and not the Space Marines. What? Oh, wait, bro, that's like, that's like a, n so that's the, I'm gonna be honest with you, that's the depressing route. The depressing like alternate is like 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 the, the like the alternate is okay, boom, the emperor killed them, whatever, they were out of line, they were causing too much trouble. The depressing short side of things is, bro, that they didn't even live up to they didn't even live up to who they who they were supposed to be. And the emperor got rid of them. But like bro, they look they look so like they look very intimidating. They look like they bro, they look like they cause trouble. Like, especially him. He got the little Uzi Vert diamond in his forehead. He got the, bro, he got the Liu Kang eyes. Like, bro, like, how? Wow. Now, that's settled. Now, how were they killed and who killed them? Did the Legion the all die as well? The Emperor did, did it. Survive? I, the Emperor. And were the missing Primarchs and Legions destroyed at the same time? So, for these questions, firstly, in the novel The Wolf Time, the Adeptus Custodius Maldivar Colquin and Hastulus Vichelin discussed the Space Wolves' resistance to their new Primaris reinforcements. Vichelin mentions that the Space Wolves could be a potential obstacle to Gilliman's ambitions if he were to turn against the Emperor, citing that historical events involving Custodes and the 11th Legion. The exchange suggests that part of the 11th Legion might have been manipulated into betraying the Emperor, and the Space Wolves were among the first to respond to this betrayal, since they were the Emperor's ex- yeah, uh, The Emperor's, uh, uh, the, the, bro, the Emperor's, uh, hitters. Yeah, bro, the space wolf, bro, bro, man, if the emperor don't even, bro, the emperor, all he got to do is sit like these, bro. He don't got to say nothing. Call him up like these. You know what to do. You know why I called you. I'm going to get, hey, hey I'm going to send, send you the bubble. I'm going to send you the coordinates. Yeah, bro, bro, the space marines, bro, real hitters, bro. Bro, 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 they were the real assassins, the real hitters, bro. Like, bro, if the king, if the president, if they wanted somebody off the map, bro, if the emperor wanted somebody off the map, space, you, yeah, yeah, bro. And, bro, and bro, after you're done, bro, check your account, bro. Check your account. The money will be in your account as soon as you get, as soon as I, it, it, bro, if I get the word that is done, the money will be in your account. Wowzers. It is likely that Lehman Russ and the Space Wolves as the Emperor's executioners were sent to deal with the second <laughs> the gold and would be shit to you. as they were sent against Angron, Magnus, and Horus later on. Either that or the Emperor also had a hand, a direct hand in it, with him probably erasing the two from existence as he did with Horus. And as for the remaining Legionnaires, let's just say that the Ultramarine suddenly had a boost in numbers.
there is a rumor suggesting a possible explanation for the fate of the 11th and the 2nd legions. Around the time they were removed from Imperial records, the Ultramarines Legion experienced a significant growth, okay. surpassing all that other makes legions sense. in numbers. That makes the sense. speculation is that the Astartes of the 2nd and or the 11th legions might have been integrated with the Ultramarines after their official expungement. If this well, were oh. true, then it would imply that the legionnaires of the 2nd and 11th legions might not have committed any wrongdoing, and the blame might lie with their Primarchs or with a minority of the legions. So again, in The Chamber at the End of Memory, the short work, Malkador the Sigilite states that the Space Marines from the Lost Legions were mind-wiped and repurposed rather wow. than sharing their Primarch's fates. He sees this as mercy. This could indicate that the theory of them being integrated with the Ultramarines is true, and hence why the Gene Seed stock of the Blue Boys is both stable and diverse at the same time, with them having quite an array of different successive chapters of varying characteristics. Okay. And so that seems the most likely explanation. So that's about all I have to say hey man. about the Lost Primarchs. Shout out to this guy, man. Never watched his videos before, but shout out to him. I, 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 was, I was loving his theories and stuff like that. Okay. Now, that's another, like, that's like another thing as well. Like, you know, maybe like, maybe like the second in, uh, the second in 11th, uh, you know, Primarchs, whatever, maybe they were like the bad apples. I mean, good bro. Listen, when you have twenty sons, bro, you know. Listen, let's not act like you know that you that you gonna have twenty perfect sons. You know, you're gonna have. You, listen, you're gonna have some crash outs as sons. You're gonna have the you know some smart sons. You're gonna have some strong, physical strong sons. You're gonna have some crash out sons. You're gonna have some stupid sons. <laughs> it is what it. Listen, bro, you got twenty sons, but like, 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 listen, Emperor. Let's not act like you know that you had twenty perfect. You know sons you know from, from church okay nah bro like your sons are are, are are crazy you bro you made some of your sons from uh, like w with some of the uh with some of the warp powers and stuff like that bro let's not act like you know th that your sons are perfect um but another thing just like how you mentioned at the end uh this guy right this guy's uh channel I, bro, oh my god yo shout out to you um i forgot your channel name but shout out to you um at the end of the video he says something that that was most likely true he said that basically the second legion and the eleven legions, their primarchs may have got like they got like you know wiped by the emperor or whatever, um, but their actual like you know legion like the you know the people that that worked with them like the actual like marines that worked with them or whatever, they most likely just was like okay cool we don't have a primarch so I'm leaving, and like their legions aren't any like they you know obviously they're not anybody anymore, and so basically the like the legions of marines they basically just joined other groups probably. And I know that the Space Marines, they're really infamous for, like, you know, getting getting uh, other people's, like, you know, um, like, Marines, I guess. Like, you know, if you're a Marine, whatever, and you're out of a job and you're, like, a free agent Marine, bro, the Space Marines will pick you up for, like, $2 million and, like, a slice of apple. So, to be honest with you, I, I, I think that actually really makes sense. So, um, I think they got wiped out by the Legions. I mean, obviously, there's no, you know, textbook answer of why, uh, you know, um, the the second and eleventh Primark is out of here. Uh, you know, uh, g bro, Garbanzo beans. I don't like. You know, it is what it is, man. Comment down below. What do you guys think? I'll see you in the next time out. And make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and peace out.